Hello and welcome in to today's Dugout Show. I'm Austin Akuda, and today I'm joined by a very special guest, right-handed pitcher Nick Whitgren, who spent time with the Hawks in 2011 and has now gone on to pitch a few years in the major leagues. Nick, thank you for taking time to join us today at McKeon Park, and welcome back. Yeah, thank you. It's, uh, it's good to be back. So you've been in the majors now for a few years. You've had stops in Miami, Cleveland, and St. Louis. But before that, what, how did this experience here in Cape Cod prepare you for that long MLB career that you've had? It was uh, it was awesome. I mean, just playing basically every day, uh, you know, hanging out with different guys that eventually you're going to cross paths with through the minor leagues and then in the major leagues as well, and you become close friends with them. Uh, it's it's awesome preparation, and it's just great that you know this league is so so well developed and just well known. And one of the things that makes the Cape League unique is the schedule that's so rigorous, 44 games in about 50 days or so. Do you remember back in your playing time here how you remained fresh day-to-day -day as a reliever um, and being able to keep up with that tight schedule? Uh, really, it, you just kind of find your own. Uh, it's kind of one of those that uh, it helps you in the long run because then you go back to college where not as rigorous, and then once when you do get – drafted and stuff then it becomes a little little just like and you're like oh I've done this before you know so it, it's awesome and then one of the other things too that a lot of the guys talk about is spending their off days on Cape Cod because you're in such a fun place to hang out and there's so much around here you remember anything that you did during your off time here in the Cape oh yeah uh my host family uh Dan and Wendy Johnson they're awesome we went uh deep sea fishing one day then we went out to Sandy Neck another and then another, we went and played golf, which he'll never let me live down, <laughs> that he beat me for, and it was bad, bad round. But, uh, yeah, there's just tons to do, and it's so much fun. And then go to the beach and just hang. And as I mentioned, you've spent some time with Cleveland, Miami, St. Louis. Is there any point where you were heading up throughout your career that you kind of were starstruck or faced off against a player when you're on the mound and you like, kind of made it real for you? Any kind of players you looked up to growing up? Um, I mean, as soon as I got to Miami and made my debut, uh, Barry Bonds was our pitching coach. Don Mattingly was our uh, head manager. And then I was playing with Ichiro and uh, a bunch of those guys. So it was kind of – that, that kind of yep. struck me. And then, you know, obviously playing with Albert, Yachty, Wayno this year and stuff was awesome and amazing. Uh, it's kind of – kind of those guys that I watched when I was little yeah. and got to play with or against that is kind of cool. Well, thank you very much, Nick, and welcome back to McKeon Park. On Austin Dakota here on the Dugout Show, we'll send it back to the booth.